Hell week officially over. Meaning, first week of conditioning in the books. So what are we doing today, night? Um, getting my helmet. This year, it's totally different for us, man. New team. And first off, I just want to say, man, shout out to the Rams, bro, for embracing my family. We really appreciate it. We love everything about the organization. Excited for the season. Today, we're going to take you on a journey with us, man. We got a lot of stuff to do today. Got to hit the grocery store to get some ingredients for later on. Then we're going to go to the park later and put in a little work. And oh, yeah, I got to talk to y'all about it's all season. About to get our gear right now. We're going to tap back in with y'all after we get the helmet. Let's see. Put it on for them, night. Show them, man. You know? Rams, baby. Here we come. Yeah, let's get to that. You ready, bro? Yes, sir. Hey, night, we gotta go crazy to this year, man. Year three, man. We gotta go crazy, man. We so excited, man. You know what? Matter of fact, hold on. We gotta get a couple photos, man, before we get out of here, man. I'm gonna tap right back in with y'all. We gotta run by the grocery store real quick to grab some ingredients for uh, a meal we got planned for later on after our training. Y'all ain't gonna wanna miss that, man. So make sure you stick around to the end so you can see what we cooking. We headed to the grocery store now. And y'all riding shotgun. Let's get it. No, it ain't the best for you, but we got to. This all season didn't go as planned. I ended up hurting my foot, cutting the grass, bro. Tore a ligament in my foot. So this is actually the first season we didn't get the proper training in before the season started. So normally we go crazy in the off season. So by the time we show up for the first practice, night is somewhat ready. Of course, when you get out to football practice officially, they, it's much more than what we do. I felt bad, man, because, you know, Knight was out there tired, bro. But, you know, it's okay. We ain't going to make no excuses for the season. On the weekends, we're going to make sure we get out to the park, man, and get some extra work in. Bro, will y'all tell him, man, mint chocolate chip is the best? Bruh. Tell this dude something, man. Mint chocolate chip is the best. Bruh. He like that. Go, get it. Get it. Show the people what you're getting, man. That's weed. And then when he gets to the house, that everybody eats my mint chocolate chip, bro. So we at Winco right now, and they missing the key ingredient that we need, man. So after this, we're going to have to take a trip over to uh, Food for Less and hopefully find it there, man. I don't know if I'm going to pick it back up when we get to Food for Less or when we get to the park later on, man. But uh, either way, we'll be back. Remember, y'all, stick around to the end of the video. You don't want to miss this recipe, you feel me? Oh. <laughs> what happened here? It's the end of the world, bro. Oh, shit. It's the end of the world, man. Doomsday, man. All the meat gone. What do we do? Ready, set, go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Training in food for less. You feel me? <laughs> we go Finally. Try. It's open. That one open. <laughs> Finally, y'all. This is what we've been looking for everywhere. You feel me? <laughs> main ingredient. This is what you gotta have to complete this dish. You feel me? <laughs> All right, y'all, so we back in the kitchen now. Today's dish for after our workout is gonna be our remix on El Pollo Loco Chicken, man. Once you see this recipe and how we do it and how easy it is, trust me, you're gonna wanna try it. So pay attention to the ingredients. I got a third of a cup of orange juice. Right here, I got three tablespoons of cooking oil. Right here, I got a third of a cup of pineapple juice. And right here, we got a third of a cup of freshly squeezed limes, bro. A third of a cup is about two to three limes. And right here, I got one tablespoon of vinegar. There's a half of an onion and eight garter cloves. For the best flavor, you might want to roast those. And right here, we got the seasonings. Don't worry, I'm going to list the amounts in the description below. Meat tenderizer, oregano, cumin, cayenne pepper, black pepper, and salt. And for the main ingredient, Sozon Goya. And right here, the star of the show, we got the bird. A whole chicken, about five pounds. Right now, what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna get this thing butterflied up and ready to go. First thing we did was, we cut that backbone out. You wanna take some kitchen scissors and just run the scissors on one side of the backbone 
and then cut the other side of the backbone out. Well, after you get that backbone out, what you want to do is just run your knife right down here. Just a little bit. That way we can uh, split the chicken easier. All right. Flip it over. And right now we're going to give it a little CPR. You hear that pop? That's what you want. Now the chicken is properly butterfly and flat and ready to go. Now we're going to get there goes your half onion. Hey, garlic, garlic cloves, orange juice, pineapple juice, oil, fresh squeezed lime juice, vinegar, and the sea cheese. And for the final, two packets of Sazon. All right, so check it out. Now that we got the marinade in the bowl, what we gonna do is we gonna cap this, put it in the refrigerator, and let this hang out for 24 hours for best taste. All right? Now we off to the field to go get some training in, and we'll tap back in with y'all. Hey, if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you returning, we appreciate the love. Smash and destroy that like button, man. Got my girls out here, man. They trying to play volleyball. Well, Kizzy already played volleyball. Kylie wants to sign up for volleyball. So we out here today to get it in. Kizzy, you ready? Kylie, you ready? So, I'm huh? ready, I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. Kizzy going to Lincoln next year, man. So she has to make the team. And we start now. Because like I tell y'all, don't, don't expect to show up to day one and everything to fall into place, man. You got to put it together, man, and make it happen. I ain't going to bore y'all with the stretches and the warm-ups. Once we get into the drills, I'm going to tap back in, man, because I already see some things that I need to fix, so bear with us. You want to be in your volleyball position, all right? With your hands up, like this. That's how we're going to do it, all right? So I shuffle for that cone, back to that cone. Simple, all right? All right. Set. Never say you can't, man. This is the time right now where you dig deep, bro. God, you do the same thing. You gotta dig deep. You gotta want this. Back this is three. nothing. I'm starting off light on y'all. All right, let's go. Let's go. We gonna get it. Day one, day one is always like this, all right? My girls tried, they did not fail. They got out here and they got with it. And I guarantee y'all, man, stay tuned. They gonna get cracking, I promise you, man. Hey, Kizzy, proud of you. Try, Kai, proud of you, man. Y'all gonna get it, don't worry. Night, it's over for you, doggy. <laughs> Let's go.
All right, y'all. Just came out today, man, just to basically to get a little fresh air, man, you know, stay loose for the season. Um, check it out, though. Remember, we got that dish coming up, man. After a nice day of running around, you got to refill that body, baby. So y'all ain't going to want to miss this recipe, man. We, we started marinating that thing, what, 24 hours ago? So uh, y'all ain't going to want to miss this, man. So stick around and see what we got coming, man. After letting that chicken marinate for 24 hours, put it on indirect heat. My clothes is hot right now. I'm going to close the lid on it for 40 minutes. After 40 minutes, we're going to come back and check it. You do not want to miss this, man. So make sure you stay locked in. We're going to be right back with y'all, man, in 40 I minutes. Mean, after 30 minutes, I put it directly over the heat. So what I'm going to do is on the opposite side is I'm going to start it directly over the heat. That way we can get a good sear on it, and then I'll move it. So another 40 minutes, and we should be Gucci. Let me see it, y'all. Finished product. You feel me? You want to try this recipe, y'all. It's healthy. And it's a great meal once you see it, put it all the way together, the size and all that. It's a great meal after the workout, man. All the ingredients is in the description. We're gonna tap back in once we get this thing plated up, y'all. Time for the best part, the taste test. <laughs> let's go, let's go, Kizzy, how's it? Come on. It's gross. Wow. I was getting it in there. What's up, Kai? It tastes like food. It tastes like food? But is it good food? It's good. I told you before you even started to, to do it the right way. And that's how you go. Oh, we record. We'll talk later. Bye. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, y'all, like I said, man, try this recipe for surely, man. All the dads out there, get with your kids, man. Hit the park, get some work in. It's a great time. So if y'all enjoyed the, <laughs> all right. So if y'all enjoyed the comment, the comment, like, if y'all enjoyed the content, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. You like, comment, and subscribe. Do all the, yeah. <laughs> no. In that order. Redo it, redo it.